Good morning and welcome to another episode of Ryan Phelan's epic morning show in the morning. And what do I have for you today? Today, um, I was just thinking here how this whole pandemic thing, you know, one of the things I'm missing out on is going to the movies. I mean, sure you have Netflix at home, but it's the whole experience, even the sticky floors. Now that they have the reclining seats, it's awesome. It's... There's so many great things about the movies, but one thing that I really enjoy and I hate missing out on are the previews or the coming soon attractions. Um, it kind of gets you pumped up for, you know, all the other movies that are coming up. It's almost like a little mini movie before the movie. It's um, something that I really enjoy personally is the coming soons. Now, again, you always ask, you know, how does this apply to real estate, Ryan? Well, you may have noticed in the background, I have this coming soon sign um, every video. Um, and that's because there is a coming soon marketing plan um, that you can do when you go to sell your home. Um, it actually also helps out buyers as well. But let's get into it. So first things first, let's take a look at how traditionally, and not all realtors are the same and not everybody does things the same way, but let's kind of give you a bit of a blueprint on how things happen. You meet with your realtor, you talk price, you talk, you know, the contract and you get that all signed up. Then the realtor may go into a Monday morning meeting or Tuesday morning meeting and say, hey, you know, I have this great property that's coming up in varsity, da 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 And everybody kind of gets geared up about it and excited. Um, but that's, you know, a handful of people or whoever's going to that meeting at that time. Maybe now with Zoom, you know, there's more people that have seen it. But um, not not all of Calgary necessarily or not everybody that's potentially looking. Then you have to get your photos done. You have to get your measurements done. You have to do uh, your flyers, um, all, all, all sorts of other marketing. And it could take up to, I know some people, some realtors watching this will say, I can get my listing up in like three days or a week, right? But it might take it up to a week or two weeks before you're fully ready. You might have to do some things within the home. Like you might want to do some repainting, um, some staging, um, even just general cleaning and getting boxes out of the way. You want it to be show ready. So that might take some time. So more than even just... Um, a month or even more than just a week it could be up even towards a month before you're even ready and in that time from the time that you're like would be happy if somebody came with an offer to the time that you actually get it on the market you're losing that time in um in marketing and time is money so you're losing marketing dollars even right there are people while you are getting ready that are currently putting offers on properties um, in your area so you want to make sure that people are aware of your property coming up because that buyer might come your way rather than going the way that they're going to go next um what can you do to kind of remedy this well um Anybody can throw up a coming soon sign on their front lawn. Hey, this is coming soon, but really what does that do except for the people that constantly drive that area and commuting? But if you take a, a very popular real estate site, um, one maybe just below uh, Realtor.ca, like maybe Remax, like one of the biggest um, sites out there, and if that agent could put that your listing saying coming soon and drive attention and put that up on the put that up on the internet put that up as a listing saying hey get ready for this 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 listing of RC is going to be great if they can do that you're just going to attract attention in that time whether it's a week or whether it's two weeks whether it's a month um, until you actually hit the market you could say, say hitting the market February 1st and then that way it does two things it, it at least makes them aware of this property so they're 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 mindful of it and the other thing it does is somebody might say to me Ryan that's great but you know there's a limited number of people that are going to see the coming soon 
don't you want it marketed everywhere, like including the MLS prior to? Yes, because otherwise you'd be doing your client a disservice. So you want to make sure that um, you say something along the lines of, you know, uh, showings will start February 1st. Two reasons for that is because on February 1st now, it'll take all the people that have known about the property, plus all the people that have just seen it on February 1st, will come to it. And you're going to have a busy little property and supply and demand. And um, by having a busy property, it creates um, motivation in the buyers. Like, man, this is busy. I better hop on it. Um, something else that can happen, you say, well, my property in Varsity, Varsity is a hot community, and the day that I list it, I'm going to have multiple offers. Fantastic. But maybe you have two, three multiple offers. And then after that, once you kind of accept an offer, there are going to be people saying, oh, geez, you know, I missed out on this one. Right? How did I miss out on it? It was only, well, it was only one day on the market. Then, alternatively, if you had marketed it for two weeks prior to coming up, you know, while you were getting ready, you would have that many more people that will be, will have been informed about the property and know about it. You may have four or five um, offers. That's, that's in a hot market and that's a very desirable property. And mind you, I am still seeing multiple offers today. So don't think that that's something that's totally out of the realm of possibility. It is not the magic pill. But it is an insane marketing tool, the whole coming soon campaign. And especially if you fully leverage it with all of your other marketing tasks. So that's for sellers and why it is so great for sellers to do a coming soon campaign. But it also helps out the buyers because I know right now there's a couple buyers that I've been working with and um, they've just started the process and... They look at a property and they say, okay, well, maybe we'll take a look at a property here again in a couple of days, and then it's conditionally sold. And that could get frustrating, especially once you're really good to go. You want to make sure that if you like a property, you can get in there and, and buy it right away and you're not missing out on it. By having the coming soon, both your agent and yourself can, can check it out and be like, oh, okay, you know, this one's coming up. We have our eye on this one. Um, and you can make sure that you are first to get in there as a buyer and you're not going to miss out. So that is all my information for, for uh, the coming soon kind of marketing and, and how, how that works. Um, can you imagine having a movie like um, Inception is coming out? <laughs> and just think of a random movie off the top of my head. Inception's coming out. And it's like the whole build up and this is going to be a great movie versus... Oh, Inception movies out today, and without any prior, like you'd be like, "What's Inception? What's this all about?" Right? It wouldn't. There's no. There's there's no um. There's no desire to see it. There's like, what's what's the point? You know, you haven't you haven't marketed the property, or you haven't marketed ha, <laughs> you haven't you haven't marketed the movie. So market the property. Do it coming soon. It makes sense. Okay. Um, I always like to throw in a fun fact of what is happening today, maybe what is happening today in history, or, you know, what kind of day it is, um, International Muffin Day or whatever. But today, in history, in 1371, King Robert II is, uh, was, uh, was crowned king, making him the first monarch of the House of Stuart. So, any of my friends out there with the last name Stuart, feel proud. Feel proud of your Scottishness. <laughs> you were once kings. And I am going to stop trying to do the Scottish accent because someone surely will, will have something to say about it. Okay. Um, like, subscribe, heart, thumbs up, do all that jazz, and subscribe <laughs> and in then and only until then stay epic <laughs>